Hey everyone, this is Robert Plank, and today we're going to be looking at the Wishlist Member API, how to use it in your themes and in your plugins. Now, WordPress is a blogging platform, Wishlist is a membership software that runs on top of WordPress, which means that you can add in all your content and your plugins and all that cool stuff that you would normally use in a blog, but it's a membership site for you. And what's cool about this software called Wishlist Member is they have an interface where you can hook into stuff. And so what that means is if you're going to develop your own plugin, you could display different content to different levels and same thing with your theme and I know that with wishlist member you can do fancy stuff like hide parts of a post using the private tags you can hide posts or pages themselves but what if you had a membership site like this and if someone was on a particular level for example if you had a free level and a paid level you wanted these sites to look drastically different. What if when someone logged in, you wanted to have a bunch of navigation or a search box that someone who was not logged in could not see? What if you wanted to show a different logo, depending on if someone was a free or a paid member? There's lots of reasons why you might want to change the design of your site based on the level someone is on. And WordPress makes it very easy for us to just tweak whatever theme we're working on to do whatever we want without having to FTP or even leave WordPress. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard here, go to Appearance Themes, and let's see what theme we're using. We're using the 2010 theme. And we can go to Appearance Editor and adjust some stuff. So I, I know that this might look kind of scary and there's lots of HTML stuff, but I'm going to go around as much stuff as possible, okay? So we did Appearance Editor, and on the right-hand side, there's different files. These are different parts of your theme. For example, you can edit the way comments look. You can edit what's in your sidebar. You can change the way that you're not found that your 404 page looks like. So let's go to the header. Let's change up some stuff in the header. So there's all this crazy stuff, and maybe you know HTML, maybe you don't. But let's scroll down, and let's find something cool to mess with. And you know what? This is kind of a mess. So let's do something real quick. Let's go to Appearance Header, and let's remove the header graphic at the top. So there's all these different choices of ways we can make the site look. Let's click on Remove Header Image. And if we look at the site again... This has been simplified. It's just the title and then some navigation up here. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff, but what I was looking for is how about this? Something that they've explained what it is. So here they say this is our whoops. This is our navigation menu. So cool, let's mess with this. How about we make it where if we're logged in, then we will show the navigation menu. Uh if not, we'll show some kind of message right there in the theme. So what we're going to do is and this is the the part of the code that shows the navigation menu now in WordPress you're gonna see a lot of things like this where it says funky tag where there's a question mark PHP and then usually they just have it do one little thing and then they'll end it with a question mark thingy so you don't have to touch this just go around it but just know that you know there's this thing is filled with little snippets they're called of PHP code see all over the place okay so we will make some room here and you're gonna have to watch very carefully because I use some funky characters here we're gonna say less than question mark PHP if parentheses is underscore user underscore logged underscore in left parentheses right parentheses right parentheses colon and the PHP tag and then over here is PHP tag end if E N D I F semicolon. Okay, so what does this do? Well, if the person looking at this web page is logged in, we will show the navigation menu, and if not, we'll show nothing. Okay, so let's click on update file and let's see what this gets us. So, and just to make this also easier, I'm going to open up a second browser. I'm going to open up Chrome here just to 
see what it looks like when someone's logged out. So look at this. Logged out, we don't see any navigation menu. Now, it's not just that it's blank. It's not just that there's this black bar and there's nothing on it. The entire navigation menu is nowhere to be found. But then we log in. And I'm just going to log in as my dummy user here. And here we go. We logged in, and now we see this navigation menu. Pretty cool, right? Well, we can make it even cooler. Because what if we did this? What if we found this area here? This is user logged in. So if we're logged in, show the navigation. But we could also say PHP else colon. You need to uh, log into the members area. Click the login button on the right. Let's just see how that looks. So update the file to save our changes. And if we refresh, we're still logged in. So we still see this, but now if we log out, here we go. Now it has this, you logged into the members area, click the login button on the right. Now, should we probably go and, you know, fix the, the style and make it look better? Well, sure, but you get the point. We can put anything we want in this area or in underneath or really in any area that we want. And by the way, this code will work with any membership software, what we've just done, because it's based on if the user is logged into WordPress. What if we wanted to get more complicated than that? What if we wanted to make this specific to wishlist and show something different depending on what membership levels this user was on? Sounds pretty cool, right? So if someone was on, if someone was logged out, show them something. If someone was logged in but in the free level, show them something else. If someone was logged in but on the full level, show them something else entirely. So maybe if they are not logged in, show a message. If they're on the free level, show them an audio button. If they're on the paid level, show them a personal video. Stuff like that. Okay, so in order to figure out what to hook into, we're going to wishlistproducts.com slash API. Don't worry about what API stands for. We're just going to scroll down to this WLM API stuff. And what we want to do is figure out what levels the current user is on. So we're going to do this WLM API colon colon get user levels. So we'll just flip back to this. And let's see what, what this even shows us, right? So I'm going to do this dollar sign levels equals WLM API colon colon get user levels. Left parentheses, right parentheses, semicolon. Don't worry about why these things are here. Just kind of follow along. Dollar sign levels equals all capitals WLM API colon colon get user levels left parentheses, right parentheses, semicolon. And so this is going to store this in a little place first, but I want to see what shows up. So I'm going to do a print underscore R dollar sign levels semicolon. So update file. Okay, so let's see, or let's switch over to this guy. Let's see what this shows us. Member ID was not supplied or found. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder why. Well, here's why. Because this says that we need, okay, well, basically, uh, this is the name of the function, and then this, these things in between here, these are different things that we could possibly send to it. So what we can do is we can input the current user, and then it will then output back for us the levels this user is on. But we didn't give it a user, so let's do that. Let's flip back here, and I'm going to go to... Uh, in here, I'm going to say dollar sign current underscore user dash uh, greater than capital ID. Don't worry about why that's spelled in a certain way. This is just a WordPress thing that should give us a number corresponding to the current user. So let's see if that worked. Not sure if it will, but refresh. Did that save properly? Member ID was not supplied or found. I think I might have to say get... Uh, I might have to. Do that. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and do a little something without explaining, because I'm doing this on the fly here. Whoops. Um, t -t -t -t. 
have to look up something really quickly. Aha, I was close. Get current user info. Okay. So I just needed to add in a little something to uh, to be able to help us out. All right. Flip back here. Oh, silly me. Okay. Um, the problem was that we're not logged in. So one second. Okay. So we're not logged in. It says no member ID given. What if we do log in? You just log in using this dude. Okay, so this did work. All right, so basically, is that is that going to make it simple? Let's see. Okay, cool. So basically, yeah, um, I did a bunch of stuff we didn't have to do, but but by running this get user levels function, it is going to provide us with this list of the levels this user is on. And right now, this level is only in the full level. Now check this out. If I go over to my list of members and I add that user to another level, so let me just go to the full level and find him. I'm gonna find this user we're working with. And we're gonna add to another level here. Add to level free. So they're on the free and the full level. Maybe they signed up for free and then later on upgrade it. Well, here's what we get. Refresh. It might be kind of hard to make out here, but here we go. Uh, we have this thing, and this is just a number that the computer uses, but it says this person's on the full level, and this person is also on the free level. So we can get this list, even though it looks kind of funny, we get this list of levels the user is on, and you can use that in your theme. So in the last few minutes here, we're going to do just that. So check this out. We're going to go back here, and if we can find where we were, which I have lost my place, but it's okay. Let's go to Appearance Editor. Here we go. And once we're in Editor, then we're going to go back to the header, since that's where we were. And what we'll do is we'll find our, our place, wherever we were. Okay. So we're on those different levels. So I'm going to say here, so if the user is logged in, here we'll say if... I, th I think I'm doing this right. In underscore array full levels, show this message just for full members. And then I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy this, and I'll say if in array free levels, show this message for free members. And I guess that's all we'll do right there. Okay, end if. So here's what this will do. Is if the user logged in, we'll show the menu and we'll show a personalized message for whoever this is. And we could put in any HTML code in here, any audio button, any video, stuff like that. And we can show a certain message in the design itself of our theme. We can change the graphic, change the look, add a box, remove a box, whatever, depending on what level they're on. Let's update the file and let's see how this turned out. So refresh, whoops, well, if I did something something correctly here. Oops, let me, let me remove these. Okay, so what we'll do is, we'll make it simple. If someone's in the full level, do this. If someone's in the free level, do this. But then we'll say, Let's, let's just show the menu either way. Let's move this outside of this. Okay, so if someone's on the full level, show this message. If they're in the free level, show this message. Otherwise, if they're in neither one of these levels, then show this other message to them. So update the file. And if I didn't have any more errors in my code anywhere. Oh, this needs to be else if, sorry. So if in array full for levels, else if in array free for levels, or this is just a catch-all if neither of these is true. Let's update the file. Flip back to this. Here we go. So we're going to show this message, or we're going to place this code just for the full members here. And if this user is now only on the free level, show this message for free members. And that's how you can use the Wishlist Member API in your theme.